Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Okay, still not used to it. Um, so today, oh, still not used to it. So today, for my self love, self care moment, I'm gonna be doing some lymphatic drainage. And so, two things about that. I have not taken classes. I mean, I am an esthetician and I do know, you know, where some lymph nodes are. I do know some of the muscles and things like that, but I do not specialize in like lymphatic drainage. And like, I don't know, my TikTok and my Instagram are spammed with videos of like, face yoga and like massaging the scalp and doing different massage techniques to like really lift the face without doing like injectables and you know i'm not against injectables at all in fact if i sell like 500 more banging body butters i'm definitely gonna need some botox um but for now like i do want to try this face yoga like gua sha lymphatic drainage that i've been seeing and just test it out right now with you so that's what we're going to be doing today this is not a tutorial this is just seeing what comes to our mind and seeing the changes in the facial structure and see what we could do okay a little self-love great okay i just wash my face I do know that it is very important to have clean skin, clean hands, and I am gonna also be using a gua sha. This is clean, but the way that I clean it in between uses is I just spray it down with alcohol. And then with a tissue, I make sure that it's like not dirty. Um, you wanna make sure that it is really clean because you, you can create breakouts if like you're not clean, your hands aren't clean, your tools are not clean. So it's really important. All right, so I just washed my face. I'm not gonna moisturize. I am gonna be starting out with oil. So I'm using the high, high expectations CBD oil. Any oil is probably fine. I do think that a lot of people use um, freaking castor oil right now so wow i mean i already feel better <laughs> video's over okay just kidding i have a I mean, you guys know I have a very obsessive personality, I think. So like when I, I love fixes, I love fixes. So when I'm feeling just like I need a fix, you know how like some people go shopping, some people, I don't know, there's, I think, I don't know what people do. All I can think of is shopping right now. But for me, like self care is, like a fix, probably because I have body dysmorphia. So like I always wanna do something that's gonna like make me look better. I say it's to make me feel better, but truly like in the back of my mind, it's to make me look better. So, all right, we're gonna start by massaging here, opening up the lymph nodes. There's one in the armpit too, in the underarm. I don't really want to touch my armpits. I don't think I'm gonna do it. If I was fresh out of the shower, I would do that one. But that lymph node is just gonna have to stay. On it's gonna have to be plugged today. I really, really want Botox. I was getting my lips done. You guys know this for a long time. I've got them dissolved many times. I love tattoos. 
I love to sell tan. I mean, really, I love to do like beauty stuff to like unwind and self care. This is a perfect opportunity if you love to obsess over things to look up face yoga and facial massaging. I'm gonna tag the girl that I've been watching. There's like two girls. There's one that does like just, oh, I should put my hair down because I gotta go through my head and in my scalp. If my hair's greasy, it's because I've been doing this every single day, sometimes twice a day. There's one woman that just massages her face and then there's another woman that could like exercise her muscles on her face like she sits there and she's like like her cheeks like move it's insane she's like growing her cheekbones by working them out all right should i do both sides or one side i'm gonna do one side i'm gonna start with one side okay so we start down here and we work our way like up Let's see if we see a difference and i can't really see like i'm literally just doing it by feel. I'm not looking in a mirror. And I'm not following like a tutorial right now. I'm just doing it. I've been watching so many videos that like I'm just kind of doing it from like memory. better look lifted and brand new let's manifest manifest looking more snatched for what <laughs> I don't know I don't like to be seen I'm, I don't like to take pictures anymore <laughs> my husband doesn't care so <laughs> why I don't know oh my god let me stop making facial expressions because I'm getting wrinkles <laughs> okay you do this with your fingers I'm showing you kind of with my fingers but I also will like gua sha and I like hold, I hold myself up while I do it. I'm 32 years old, which I know I, I still feel pretty young. Um, but I do notice like my laugh lines. <sighs> I'm starting to settle in, honey. Today is supposed to be Cockies and content, you're not wrong. If you were thinking it, you're not wrong. But Steph and Sebastian are not here, and I don't blame them because it's freaking cold outside. It's snowing outside today. So, tomorrow we'll do cockies and content. We have a restaurant here called Cooper's Hawk. I don't know if you guys have them near like where you live, but it's like a, it's like a nicer, I don't know where all this, this is probably Chloe, Chloe's hair. Chloe's hair is everywhere. Um, Cooper's Hawk is like a nicer restaurant, like a good date night restaurant. They have good, good wine. Um, I do have a membership there. I love their wine. And, um, Maybe Steph and I want to go tomorrow because they have a new happy hour menu and they just like rolled this out. Actually, happy hour in general is new there. Um, so I want to go try it. Before my wig Govi kicks in again. I've been off of it for a month, but I just started it again a few days ago. I don't know if you guys, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I do post some pretty funny things on there. Um, 
to my life, Cindy Vic. And I picked up my wig over the other day and I thought it was kind of funny. You should go watch. Okay, so now all this fluid has to like release. I see, I like my fingers for this. But yeah, we'll do a khakis and content tomorrow. Am I, am, I'm not gonna be doing a schedule on here right now. You're just gonna pop in. You're just gonna love me and pop in because we, I cannot be on a schedule. Not with YouTube, not right now, not right now. This is for fun. This is to try to get back on camera because I fell off for a little bit because I didn't want to be seen. I don't want to see myself, but I've, I've always felt that way about myself and I always did YouTube and I always did take pictures of myself and then I don't know what happened where like I actually, I must have fallen deep into it, but I'm back girl, the Prozac and the Wigovi together. I mean, it's doing really, I'm eating my boogers. Like everything is draining right now. Shit works. Disgusting. I love disgusting things. I love disgusting things. You cannot gross me out. When my clients like lay down or when I do a spray tan, they're like, oh my God, oh my God. Like, sorry about my pimples. Sorry about like my butthole. I'm like, why? I'm an esthetician. Like I started out my career waxing assholes. Do not be embarrassed. Okay, do we see a difference? Do you see a difference? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know because I'm not looking, I'm looking at you. Okay, one more time. Is there a difference? Okay, let me do the other side because it has to be equal. It has to be equal. So again, kind of, they say like this muscle, like your trap. I don't know. I don't know what to believe, but they say like everything is connected right so like if you have stress in one place it starts to drag down in other places i believe it i believe it i want to know what's dragging my titties down because i have silicone implants and they're still being dragged down to the ground what is dragging them down which muscle do i have to massage to bring those back up that's what i want to know I feel like I need more oil. I need more slip. I look really, you guys, I know. I mean, this isn't supposed to be my most flattering angle right now. I'm just trying to get snatched for no reason. Snatched for stuff. That's gonna... <laughs> She's the only person. <laughs> Mm hmm the video cut me off it's okay it's okay thank goodness I looked I didn't get that far anyways hashtag snatched for Steph snatched for Sebastian because they're the only people that care okay back to my gua sha my husband does not care if I'm snatched only I care. And for what?
I'm gonna go fast because I already did all this. Ugh. There's Chloe hair everywhere. My dog is shed. I mean, it's that time. My dog is shedding so bad. It's so annoying. I cannot vacuum this house enough. Do you guys want to talk about Wigovi? In the next video. In the next video. I'm sure you guys want to know about Wigovi because when I um, posted my last post on Instagram, um, I had quite a few questions. And I know there's a lot of videos out there, but sometimes... Sometimes when you like watch somebody or trust somebody and like listen to what they have to say because you relate to them you get like a different perspective so but just in short Wigobi has been the best thing I've ever done sorry to say it it really has been and not because i mean you guys i looked probably the same to you because i was gone for a while so you guys didn't see like my weight gain and my weight loss but um i weigh like 170 pounds right now and listen <laughs> let me not even get into it um, I probably don't look different to you, but that period that I was off, I gained like 30, 35 pounds. So I was about 200 to 202 pounds when I walked into the doctor's office. Anyways, it was, it's been, it's been rough in these streets, but I'm just learning again to like be comfortable at this weight. And I don't even think it matters like what weight I am because it's like never enough. It's pretty sad. You know how sometimes like even I've done it where like I look back and I'm like I wish I could be that thin. I wish I could be that thin or if I could be like this again. But I know people are like, I wish I could be like that, I'm like my high school weight or before I had kids. And I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I feel the same way because it's not even like I wish I weighed or looked like myself in a different time. I just wish I'd looked like someone else entirely. <laughs> I think that's the issue, right? Is like, my best is not my best, like doesn't feel like my best. My best would be to look like something else that I'm not, which is sad. So how do you like get over body dysmorphia or like, I don't know. I don't know how to get over it when it's, I don't know, it's different. Like I feel like my thoughts are different. I don't like my proportions. I don't like my skin color i wish i was more tan i don't like my smile it's really gummy like i could go on and on and on and it's so annoying because other people that have maybe features similar to mine like i don't think that they're ugly or disgusting or i don't wish that they were different it's kind of weird to think about that I'm trying to move the fascia through my head. I wish I had a little cocktail, a little cocky right now, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to because I'm going to have some tomorrow and I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> okay. Okay. How do I look? How do I look? Amazing. 
Thank you for spending this time with me. If you made it this far, you're amazing. Oh my God, thank you. And I'll see you tomorrow with Steph and Sebastian at our favorite place, Cooper's Hog. Till tomorrow, I love you, goodbye.